Hi, I'm Ali Bierman, your guide to demystifying your world, and you're joining us today for a special edition, a Wisdom Shares edition of Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. I have a favor to ask, would you please share this episode with at least two friends and go into our website and you'll see the link in the show notes and leave us a review and a rating, and that will help more people to know how they can take some control over the invisible forces making the world look the way it does. Is it human malpractice? So I was thinking about this the other day, because sometimes I know somebody needs some help, and I'm pretty darn sure I can help them, and I don't always help them. And then I have these debates with myself, has this ever happened to you? Or you just keep wondering or feeling guilty because that person is usually something where they're in pain or they're confused or sad. So let me tell you how I came to this conclusion. And I call it human practice. It's malpractice. It's a malpractice of humanity, in my opinion. So years ago, many years ago, in 1996, to be precise, I was attacked and left with a really bad brain injury. And I was in psychotherapy as a psychotherapist at the time, working on my doctorate. And the word going around at that time within the his industry, the practice, was if you don't get help within the first 18 months, you don't have a chance of getting better. Or actually, it might have been a first year, whatever it was. It was something that was a scary concept to me because at the time, I believed it. Well, fortunately, I went to my massage therapist to get a massage so at least I could feel better physically. And I mentioned what had happened to him and he said, I've got somebody for you. And he was in a co-op of people in the healing arts. And the somebody he had for me gave me a massage using magnetic tools. And I knew because I had been in a support group where the caretakers said that magnets can really, really help. So I knew, well, I didn't know it was a message from the universe at the time. I just knew it was a gift. And when I got that massage, I noticed a difference in how I was feeling. And then I learned wow, I could buy these products and have them at home. Ultimately, they had a lot to do with restoring a huge part of my functioning. But here's the thing, that person who shared that technology with me also told me about other people in that same co-op who did energy work. Well, I knew because I raised a youngster who was a dancer who always got hurt, not always, Got hurt too often, let's just say that. I knew if I put my hand on her, that we'd both feel heat and she'd feel better. I didn't have to give it a name. I didn't have to know anything about it. I just knew you put your hands on somebody, they feel better. I also realized pretty quickly if I ran my hands over somebody, like if I had a friend who was hurting somewhere, if I ran my hands over them, I could feel a difference in their energy. Like maybe it was cold in some places. Maybe there was a level of it. And in some places, there was a divot there. Anyway, I went from there to somebody else in that co-op mentioned neural organization technique. Okay, I had damage in my brain. Neural organization. So I went to study it because the cool thing about when you're studying a modality you work on each other so i had some really incredible healing i went from there on to touch for health 
where I learn all different kinds of things about the body and the muscles and the organs and the glands and the meridians and how everything happens in your body. And from there, I learned a technique called kinergetics. Uh, I got in the kinergetics three years after the brain injury. And in one 15-minute session, again, learning the modality and working on each other. Somebody's working on me. She energetic. I work only in energy. All the modalities that assist in my healing, they're 100% energy. And when she did the technique to put my jaw in alignment, oh, I hadn't had a short-term memory for three years. Three years, I couldn't follow a conversation. I couldn't listen to an audio or watch a video because by the time they got to the end of their sentence, I had lost the beginning of their sentence. I had to drop out of the doctoral program, which was a magnificent gift. But anyway, what I'm saying is, one thing leads to the other, to the other, to the next, to the next. And if each of those people hadn't shared with me a possible next step, I may never have healed. Because the 16 people on my medical team, they said I couldn't heal. Well, here's what they said. Most of them said, we can't help you. This is as good as it gets. Learn to live with it. And a couple of them said, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> they said, there's nothing wrong because what was wrong was out of their realm of expertise. So they couldn't see it because they could only see what they were looking for. They could only see what they knew in their field of expertise, what they we're looking for. And what was wrong obviously didn't fit in their realm of expertise. Because later, after being the energy work, I found a doctor who knew what all these other people said, nothing's wrong. He said, this is exactly what's wrong. And it was a huge piece in my healing. So, again, I had brain surgery ooh, more than 10 years ago. And I had a tumor removed from my brain stem. And what happened was inside that tumor, there were three critical nerves. So when the neurosurgeon said to me, you may wake up unable to move, unable to walk, unable to talk, unable to swallow, Unfortunately, that's what happened because it wasn't possible for him to remove the tumor without taking those three nerves that were inside the tumor. So for more than 10 years, I really struggled. It, I don't remember how long it took me to get my voice back. And people didn't really understand me when I talked because I was doing the best I could but a lot more than half of my mouth, my tongue were paralyzed. So I worked really, really hard to enunciate, to speak so people could understand me. I did the best I could. It took a tremendous amount of energy to appear normal. And that's how I lived my life for 10 years. And also through these years, my brother, thank goodness, he had told me, how about stem cells? So over the course of those 10 years, I was looking and researching about stem cells. And what I learned was, number one, they're really expensive. Number two, people have to get the treatment more than once. Number three, it can be so dangerous that some people actually lost their lives in that process. So I wasn't going to go about stem cells, not in the general way that they were being used. So then I'm noticing someone who I met in 
the course of learning how to do a podcast. And by the way, right now you're listening to a wisdom share, which is part of the special shows that I do. I'm at Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. Anyway, thank goodness I was in the class with her and she had sent me an email and I noticed in the bottom of her email, the signature, they call it, it said stem cell patches. So I called her and I asked her about them. And because she was a major healer in all kinds of modalities, plus being a naturopath, she told me about them and I started using them. What if she had never shared that with me? Here's what happened when I started using them. Right away, well, in two weeks, I noticed some things were feeling better. Numbness that I had had in my toes wasn't happening anymore. Numbness that I sometimes had in some of my fingers wasn't happening anymore. And then a second kind of stem cell patch came along. And when I put the two of them together, holy crow. I was able to do things like speak so clearly. My friends were remarking, they're saying, and they didn't know anything about the stem cell patches. They just knew, hey, I can really understand you today. It's like, oh, wow, I didn't even realize my speech was clear. When I went to get my teeth cleaned, whoa, I felt everything happening on the right side of my mouth. I hadn't felt that for 10 years. Now, let's see if you can tell what I'm doing. Ready? Can you hear it? It's a kiss. I couldn't do that for 10 years. For 10 years, I couldn't kiss. I have three grandchildren inside of those 10 years, and I could never kiss any of them. So... Oh, here's something else. I'm going to stick my tongue at you just so you know. You see how it's pointing? That's how my tongue's supposed to be. But for 10 years, my tongue wasn't pointy because more than half of it was paralyzed. So it's just kind of (laughs) popped. Anyway, what if all these friends hadn't shared what they knew And each one was a step in my healing process, in my education process. What if they hadn't shared? I'd have been back in the position that those 16 medical people said, you're not going to heal. This is as good as it gets. Learn to live with it. So every time I'm with somebody and I know they're hurting and I know I can do something about it, and I don't. I feel like I'm committing malpractice against the person. So does that ever happen to you when you have a solution or you know somebody you could connect them with that person for a solution to get them out of their pain, whether it's physical or emotional or spiritual? Well, I'm trusting that because you're listening here with me today, that you're going to think twice before you keep it to yourself. Why was I keeping that to myself? Because the company was a network marketing company, and I thought friends would think, oh, you're just trying to sell me something. Well, what if my friend never sold me those stem cell patches? What if that first person had never sold me the magnetic sleep system? I could never cover. Do you know because of the stem cell patches, I can blow my nose. You can't even imagine what it's like to not be able to blow your nose because this part of my face, the right side of my face, was paralyzed and you need nerves working to be able 
to blow your nose. It's a good thing I don't believe in getting sick. I didn't get sick because I'd have been in real trouble if I'd had a stuffy nose. I am so grateful that you joined me here today. And I hope you're taking the heart what I'm saying because I'm not going to stand by and let people hurt anymore. I'm going to let them know there's something they can do. And hey, not all the companies I was in before had a money back guarantee the stem cell company does. And of course they do. Every single one of their products has a money back guarantee because every single product has all these uh, scientifically done experiments that are recorded that you can read all of them. They work. They're all guaranteed to work. Now, I did want to go someplace else with that in case you're thinking about contacting me so I can assist you in investigating what you can do to feel better. Because people get used to not feeling fantastic. I remember when I started my healthcare practice, which I went into because I didn't want anybody to be told this is as good as it gets, learn to live with it. That doesn't make sense to me. There's something you can do to help a person on some level. Maybe you can't help them heal completely, but healing happens in lots of different ways. So I was aware when I was first starting just running energy on people and like my hands would be up here, up at their chest. And I remember one person, he opened his eyes and he said, oh, I didn't know you were here. I thought you were down at my feet. Energy knows where to go. So even though my hands were up high chest, he was feeling the energy down by his feet because that's where the energy had to go to heal. Now, the same thing happens with stem cell patches because your body has priorities of what cells need to regenerate. So you might have a desired outcome in mind and it might not be the priority of your body. So the other thing's going to heal. And sometimes people say, it's not working for me. And the thing is, just as I always did before and after tests with my clients, so I could see 100% positive results. Only once did somebody say, I don't feel any different, but it was clear. The organ systems that got turned on that this person wasn't noticing, they were turned on too. So the stem cells are going to wherever the priority is first. That's why it's called a priority. That's when, when I work. I always put in, I call it a circuit when I work with somebody. I always put, what's the priority? Because here's something cool about the way your body, mind, spirit works. When you clear a priority, a whole bunch of things under it, clear. So if you go to somebody and they say, what's bothering you? What do you want to work on today? And you're not clearing the priority because you don't know how. It's going to come back. And that's why people think they're clearing things, only they're not, because they're not clearing the priority. That's a level or two or many levels above it. The other thing, and there's a whole lot more to what allows for healing. If you're testing yourself, and I test myself every day, I don't put patches on unless... My spirit says, yes, we want a patch today. Yes, we want this one. No, we don't want that one. Where do we want it to be? I get all that in detail. But first, first to make sure my energy is running accurately. Because people who are out there self-testing, they don't understand that your, well, many of them don't understand your energy can get reversed. It can get mixed up and you could be getting totally inaccurate information when you're testing yourself 
to see if something's good for you, beneficial for you or not. So there's a whole lot more to healing that most people don't do, which is why some people heal and some people don't. And that's going to be in the next book I write. But thats I don't want to go into all of that now. I wanted you to understand that if somebody's hurting or sad or frustrated and you have a solution for them, share it or connect them with somebody who can. Now, that brings me to the subject of when I was doing the modality that I'd been using for 25 years with people, and I have this problem that's been going on for six months that I've always, always cleared for myself. And what I realized, because I'm in communication with my guides, with my angels, with the universe, there was something missing in that modality, which kind of made me think, oh, yeah, I always had phenomenal results for my clients. However, I wasn't getting it for me in this case, and I know why. And that's why I'm creating my own modality, because when the universe said, this has been missing, and I did it, it's like, oh, no wonder I have these issues because in my meditation, I understood that that was missing from what I've been doing for 25 years. I trust the messages because you know what? I'm not unusual. There are messages coming to you nonstop. And if you don't know how to communicate two way with your guides, with your angels, with the universe, that's something I can help you with, but only. If you ask me for help and you can send me a message on whatever platform you're listening on and we'll take care of you. Because as I say so often, suffering is optional. Suffering is a choice you're making. You can make a different choice. I thank you so much for being with me here today. And I'll have some links that you can get to around <laughs> so that you can join our Facebook group where you'll see offers, where you'll meet people, where you can ask questions, where you have access to me. And also, you can find any of our 62 so far episodes of the podcast, Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind, at the website, Let's Get Metaphysical Show.com. You can listen to or watch any of the previous episodes so you can find something that's a fit for you. Because I chat with a variety of people in a variety of fields, always looking for the invisible forces that cause our world to look exactly the way it does. Remember to enjoy that capital I N, capital J O Y every moment because nothing that you experience happens outside of you you don't see outside of you you see it in here you know your brain centers i mean your vision centers in the back of your brain you don't hear outside of you you don't taste smell or touch outside of you you experience it all within enjoy every moment and i will see you here next time.